Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Recruiting Roundup, sponsored by Ortho Arizona. I am your host, Cody Cameron. One of the, the funnest things that we get to do on this show is not only talk to all the local high school athletes and coaches in the state, we also get to talk to the college coaches. And joining me is a good friend of mine, recently hired up at NAU as a director of player personnel and overseeing recruiting, and that's Tim Roshman. And Tim, first of all, how are you doing, man? Doing good. Thank you for having me, Cody. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, it's good. Uh, busy, busy, busy season right now, but um, it's been it's been awesome. Been in Black Sap for about a month, and it's been amazing. That's awesome, man. And and I want to jump right into it because you know you you look at your resume and what you bring to the table of this job. I think you can absolutely kill it there. You have the years of experience being a GA at Arizona State. That's where me and you kind of met. You know, X amount of years ago, you became the DPP of University of New Mexico. Kind of a crazy time because COVID pretty much hit right when you got that job. And then you also seen the other side of it. You were on Millennium High School and Liberty High School's coaching staff, being an assistant coach and helping those parents and players with their recruiting process. Now with this role, you know, you how do you envision yourself and, and what are you looking forward to accomplishing in this role with NAU football? Yeah, uh, I think that's a good point. Those last two years that I spent coaching high school ball um, down in the Valley were really, really amazing. Um, they really helped me see the other side of the coin, right? Not just seeing the college side of things. Um, so in taking this job, obviously, you know, I was hired, no doubt, in part because of my Arizona ties and it shows obviously the staff's commitment to the state of Arizona. Um, but also, you know, when you look at NAU and you know this as an alum, like, the word potential has always been out there, right? Um, we have beautiful uh, facilities. Um, we have an awesome stadium. We're located in a phenomenal city where everyone wants to go and visit, right? Those things have been true for a long time. Um, and so, you know, NAU has always been a place that I've seen as, as a place that if they can get the recruiting right um, in the state of Arizona, in Southern California and Nevada, um, you know, in our footprint here, uh, then you could do something really, really special. The question you always get from not just high school coaches in the state of Arizona, also the country, but also the players and, and of course, the parents, right? How can we get our son or our player or me personally as the high school football player, what can we do to get recruited? Productivity at the high school level is one thing. Um, traits is really the thing that your college evaluation is based on. So when we evaluate players, this has been true, with, whether it was at Arizona State, New Mexico, or here, when we evaluate players, we're always talking about traits. We're talking about explosiveness. We're talking about flexibility. We're talking about um, burst, speed, all those things, length, right? We're talking about traits. We're usually not talking about productivity, stat. But I think that's the best thing for high school kids to understand is that that's what we're looking for, right? So putting in that extra work in track and field, right? Putting that extra work in the weight room. Those are the things that we're looking for uh, is traits, phys uh, physical athletic traits, right? More so than simply production, which is part of the picture as well, yeah. as well of course. Um, but that's, I think, maybe helps explains it sometimes to parents and kids and coaches a little bit. Yeah, you said the key words, you know, track, multi-sport athletes and Weight room numbers, guys, that, that stuff matters in the realm of recruiting. But another tool that really helps recruiting is in-person recruiting. State of Arizona does a great job of having the, during the contact period in the spring, you know, I just saw 60, 70, 80 coaching staffs from various schools coming down recruiting in person. Another way to do that is to go to these, these in or these hosted camps by the colleges, ran by the college coaches. You got a slew of them, a ton of seven on sevens that, a lot of high, local high schools are going to go to big man competition, individual camps, and then, of course, the mega camp that is hosted by you guys here on June 9th. Why is that such an important recruiting tool, not only for your staff, but, you know, the the, the 10 plus schools that are going to be there and attend this recruiting in person? Going to camp is, to me, one of the most important things you can do for your own recruitment and going to college camps. And that's why I encourage um High school coaches as well, you know, seven on seven, we all have mixed feelings, but the best seven on seven you can go to is to the colleges, seven on seven. You can see kids' competitiveness, their demeanor, uh, right, effort, all those things um, if for the skill position. So, um, yeah, the mega camp, great opportunity because one other thing that every kid has to realize is, you know, uh, planning for what they want to do at the next level, right? Like, yes, we all have Division One dreams or, you know, the biggest dreams, uh, the biggest stage. But that's not realistic for all, right? Certainly wasn't realistic for me when I was um, going through high school. So a mega camp gives you exposure to 
uh, uh, you know, FBS, FCS, Division II, great NAIA programs, all those different things. And we have all those represented at our mega camp. Tim, you are the man. I think you're crushing it in this role. Appreciate you joining me for the recruiting. Awesome. Thank you so much, Cody. Look forward to having you up here.